Hi, I'm going to show you how anyone can automate Facebook messages in the browser using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder. Let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to use a template found on our website, Axiom.ai. Top menu, look for templates. There are many others to choose from as well. I'm going to show you how to install the template, configure the template, then run it. But before I do all of that, let me explain how this automation works. This automation works by reading data from a Google Sheet. It then opens up a profile of a Facebook user. It will then click message, type in that message, then click send. Then the bot will delete the row it's processed and then loop through the next row, repeating the message, but to a different profile. You are going to need a Google Sheet for this automation. I have one set up already. In column A, I have the links I wish to message or the profile links I wish, wish to message in Facebook. And then in column B, the message I'm going to send that person. Installing the template, really easy. If you found this video on YouTube, go to axiom.ai, look in the top menu and search for templates. You'll find this and many other templates to choose from there. Now, if you're already on the template page, all you do is click that button there, install the template, and it will load into your Axiom account. If you don't have an Axiom account yet, don't worry, make one up. No, I mean, don't make one up. I mean, create an account by clicking the button you'll see on the page. They're free to set up. Once, you do, once you've done that, you can then add the template. Now onto the fun part, configuring the bot, and then we can run it. So we've got four easy steps to configure. This is going to take a matter of moments. Let's start with the first step. So I've installed the template. I'm going to open up the Axiom. Here it is. So step one is the first step we need to configure, and it's read data from a Google Sheet. So I'm going to expand the step. Now, we saw the sheet I made a moment ago. I need to, in the spreadsheet field, click the select and choose the sheet that I want to um, get the data from. Now, if you've got more than one tab, you will need to specify a sheet name, but I don't, so I can scroll straight down to output. And here you can see I have the um, preview of the data from my sheet. That's the step set up. That's as simple as it is. Okay, so next up, we've got the loop step. Now we don't need to do anything to set the loop up. That's already done for us. So we need to go to the second step we need to set up and that is the go to page step 2.1. Okay, let me click and expand that step. What we need to do here is insert the URLs we have in the Google Sheet here. So the step will loop through them. So to do that, I click insert data. I choose the Google Sheet and I want to make sure I've got column a selected in this case because it has the URL to the profile in. I'm going to press save and close, then collapse that step. Step 2.1 is now set up. Still pretty simple. Okay, step 2.2, this clicks the message button. This is pre-configured. We don't need to do anything with that. Step 2.3 is the next step we um, <coughs> need to set up. So that inputs the message. Essentially, that will type the message into the input down below there. Let me just open up Axiom again, and we'll set that step up into text, step 2.3. Okay, so we don't need to select it. It should be set already. In fact, when you open up the message, I think the cursor is already in, in the input, so we don't need to do anything. Let's um, look at the text field. You can manually type in a message, but of course we want to pass that data from a Google Sheet. So again, insert data. You can see a pattern there for, for passing data. We use the insert data button. We select column B this time, and that inserts the message that we want to send. Next up, we use a key press, and we've already recorded this key press and enter, and we just press enter on the keyboard to send the message. Now, finally, step 2.5, this is a delete a row um, rows from a Google Sheet step. This step removes the row once the message has been sent so we don't keep messaging the same person. So I need to select the sheet I set up with my data in, which is DM. So I do that in spreadsheet URL in the sheet name. 
if I'm using a tab, I can specify this, otherwise Axiom will set it. And I want to delete the first row in the sheet, so that's already set up, and the last row. If you're using table headers in your sheet, you may need to delete from row two and last row, row two. Okay, that's it, that's the box set up. That was just four simple steps, that took a matter of moments. Now, let's get ready to run the bot. Now for the amazing magical part, the magic, we're gonna to get to see the bot run and we're gonna see it automating the browser. I never get tired of watching um, browser automation with Axiom, it's so cool. Like I always say in my videos, I do a lot of work in the browser. I love automating it. So without further ado, I'm gonna click run. Now, you can run this bot from the cloud or the desktop, but as I've mentioned in other videos, I love to do all my testing in the um, desktop. Now, quickly before, if I just want to limit or do a test run, what I would do is specify uh, the first and last cell. So, AB1, that would mean the bot will only loop once, sending a message. Sorry, AB1. There we can see the preview's gone down to a single row. But I'm not going to bother because I've only got two rows in there. I know both people, I often use it for their accounts for testing, so they'll just ignore the message anyway. I'm going to collapse that step. Another, another thing when testing your bot you can do is just disable step 2.4 so the return key won't be pressed and that will save the message being sent. You do this by clicking on the, the kebab, men, kebab menu on 2.4 here on the right and then disable step. Awesome. I'm going to leave that enabled because I want to watch the bot in action. Let's now click run. So we're going to run on the desktop. And this will be Axiom we're watching now, our Axiom runner in Chrome. And in it, shortly it's going to open up the window. I'm, I'm going to drag it into view. But otherwise, I'm hands free. I think I just need to actually change the height of the bot a bit. Otherwise, you'll see the message being sent at the bottom. Here we go, here's the message being sent, and I've sent that message. Now the bot should loop through the second page. This is so cool, my hands are here, and it's gonna send Simon, our CTO, a wonderful Christmas message. Here's the bot, it's opened up the message, it's gonna type it in, it's gonna press return, send the message. That's the run complete. I'm gonna let Axiom close itself down, or I'll just close the panel. It'll come to a halt shortly, and that's the automation done. That was so cool. Like I say, I love browser automation. Worth noting quickly, you, you like with any templates, you can customize this one by adding additional steps. You can also create your own vanilla automations from scratch by, by um, clicking start from blank when you create a new automation. Okay, onto some tips about managing this um, automation if you run into any issues. So most of the steps are pre-configured. If you find your um, automation isn't loading in the profiles, you'll want to check step 2.1 and make sure you've got the data plugged in here and make sure it's the correct source. So open up the Google Sheet, make sure you select the column, okay? Next up, clicking message, step 2.2. If you get an error like element not found, just expand step 2.2, press select, and reselect the message. You can also use this feature, custom, use, if I just drag myself out of the way, use element text. Because it's got a unique text, that will most likely work. But bear in mind that will, languages will change um, if you run the bot in a different country. Okay, press complete. So that's a few of the top tips. Any issues you have will probably mainly be buttons not found. Um, so I've already shown you how you can solve those. Key press, that should work. If not, re-record the key press with your keyboard. I'm just going to press reset there. It's pretty simple to do, and that's step 2.4. Okay, that's it. Um, a final note, we do offer great customer support. So if you get stuck, share a screen recording, include the um, Axiom on our support and send it via our support page, which you can find in the link at the top of the um, Axiom website, axiom.ai. Thank you, and um, I hope you enjoy browser automation.